Welcome to another review with me, Jason. Today we're going to be looking at the Rafa Pro Team Aero Jersey. Let's talk about the fit of the jersey first. So this is obviously a pro fit jersey, it's really tight around the waist here, tighter than most people's jerseys are going to be. Uh, this is a size medium and my measurements are, I have a 39 inch chest and I'm 192 centimeters or six foot three, nearly six foot four tall. As for the comfort of the jersey, as a whole, this is a really comfortable jersey, as you would expect for one of Rafa's best, most expensive jerseys, definitely. So, round the chest, it's snug, but it's not too tight. Even in the bike position, it maintains a really good, uh, really good fit around the chest area. However, the arms though are really tight on me personally. I used to be a swimmer, so I might have a slightly bigger arm here than maybe most cyclists would, even though they don't look very big. But I do notice that when I initially put this jersey on, it is tight around the arms. Let's talk about the function of this jersey. So this jersey is going to be primarily used for racing. Just like the EF Nippo World Tour team, this is the jersey that they use, especially on their flatter days, where they're going to be going faster, where they, where they know it's, the aerodynamics is going to be making more of a difference. I have primarily used this jersey for either racing or faster cycles. Because it looks fast, people know it's an aero jersey, you want to be going fast in it. You don't want to be pootling along and somebody overtakes you and you're in an aero jersey. So I, I tend to save this one for my faster days where I'm going to be the overtaker, not the overtakee. Let's talk about the three things that I really like about this jersey. Thing number one is always first for me, it's got to look good. If you're buying a jersey, you're spending this much money on it, it's got to look good, right? And I bought it, I like the blue, I like the contrasting white here, especially when you're in the bike position. I really like the way you can see the white wrapper down the side of the jersey. The second thing that I like is that it maintains a really good fit, especially when you're in a more tucked or a more aerodynamic position on the bike, which I think adds to the functionality of the jersey. It really maintains a snugness around the chest and the body. Um, and there is a little bit of flapping, but I'll get onto that later, where that is. And the final thing I like about this jersey is that I haven't just used the same material throughout the whole thing. They've used this extra textured material to help trip the airflow to keep it maintained tucked to the body for longer, increasing your aerodynamics. I don't know how much effect that's, that has been found in the wind tunnel, but it certainly makes me feel good. It certainly makes me feel more aerodynamic when I go out. I also like the different back panel and the fact that the pockets still have functions. So the back panel is a little bit thinner for some extra breathability. It's also UV protected. And finally the pockets here, they're still very functional, it even still has a zip pocket if you want to keep something a little bit safer, like, a, like some keys. And the zip pocket is actually fairly large, you can fit pretty much any phone in here if you're really conscious about your phone slipping out. And now for three things that I'm less fond of about the jersey. The first one is going to be the tightness around the arms. Like I said, when I'm cycling, I never notice it. But initially, when I first put it on, or if I'm just standing here, I do notice that the arms are a hell of a lot tighter. It's just past the point where it's snug. You can actually feel it squeezing a little bit more. Whereas around the chest, it's a nice snug fit. The second thing that I'm less fond of about this jersey is 99% of the jersey fits really well when I'm on the bike. However, around this trapezius area here, especially when you're going quicker, it starts to flap a little bit in the wind. And I'm not so sure that's the most aerodynamic thing. So I don't know whether it's because of a tighter neck, it sits higher. And the position that you put yourself in just creates a gap, which allows the, the top of the jersey to flap a little bit here. I'm not sure if other people suffer with this, with this jersey specifically, but it's just something that I've noticed, especially going over 40, 45 kilometers an hour. You can really hear it, the noise of it. And finally, the, th the third thing that I dislike about this jersey is oh, the price. It is a spenny, spenny jersey. I got this one for £145, and when they do have a sale on with Rafa, it's only going to be in the unique sizes, like extra larges or extra smalls, that people don't normally buy as often. So for my size, the medium, definitely not going to be able to ever grab one of these in the sale. But 
So you get what you pay for. It's a quality jersey for £145 and I've been really enjoying my use in it. To conclude this video off, I really love this jersey. I really like the navy blue here. And it does come in other colours. It comes in a black and a mustard yellow at the moment. And that mustard yellow is really eyeing me up. I don't know if I can fork out the extra £145 for that mustard yellow though. But I would highly recommend it. Looks amazing in person. My girlfriend's bought the mustard yellow one. Fits her amazingly as well. Apart from a very, very few minor niggles, like, like I said, the tightness on the arms, a little bit of flapping around uh, the top of the trapezius here. Overall, this is a, gr is a great jersey. You, you do get your money's worth. It looks great, makes you feel fast, and I use it on the faster rides as well, and I enjoy using it for those kind of rides. Thank you very much for watching my review. I hope you found this very useful, and I hope to see you again soon.